Kujambo mtazamaji popote pale ulipo ni matumaini yangu kwamba Jumapili ya leo inakuendea vyema. Karibu kwa taarifa za mbiu ya KTN. Jina langu ni Mary Kilobi. Maafisa wa muungano na wa madaktari na wa hudumu wa afya nchini KMPDU wamesema kwamba wako tayari kuelekea gerezani. Wapo mashauriano kati yao na serikali ya tafeli. Akizungumza kwenye ibada ya maombi kanisani Komarok hapa Nairobi, katibu mkuu wa KMPDU Ouma Oluga amesema kwamba muungano wake umeipa serikali nafasi kubwa ya mazungumzo lakini hadi sasa maafikiano yamezidi kuwa kwepa afisa hao wanatishiwa na kifungo cha jela iwapo kufikia alhamisi hawatakuwa wamekomesha mgomo mgomo wenyewe kwa sasa umefikia siku 49 We as a union have uh, uh, ceded so much ground every time and presented seven different ways in which uh, this uh, CBA can be uh, implemented without causing any uh, uh, damage to the government's budget. And we know that the money is available. Um, even yesterday you saw uh, TSC uh, released 54 billion for teachers. So we are wondering why the government cannot release only 8 billion for doctors. Is it that doctors are, uh, are, are not Kenyans? As you also know, uh, we have been uh, sentenced to jail. Uh, we shall proceed to jail on, on Thursday if, if, if there are no solutions. And for us, we are proud to do that because if that is what we need to do to improve the healthcare system in our country, then we will do it. But we also uh, pray that we do not have to get to such a situation. We, we, we want to believe that uh, God will bring an intervention and we are still asking Kenyans to pray. Lastly, uh, during this uh, voter registration, uh, we are asking all Kenyans, your vote is not more important than your health. Take a card called NHIF. Every time you go to hospital, you know, Kenyans, we have been made to believe that your vote is sometimes more important than your health. Yes, your vote determines your health, but in a country like this, Make sure you have, as you take that voter's card, which is very important, take even a more important card called the NHIF card. That na aliyekuwa mwenyekiti wa kitaifa wa chama cha TNA Johnston Sakaja amepuzilia mbali madai ambayo yalitolewa na aliyekuwa katibu mkuu wa TNA Onyango Lo kwamba kulikuwa na wizi wa kura katika uchaguzi wa mwaka 2013. Sakaja amesisitiza kwamba Oloha kuwepo kwa kitengo cha mpangilio wa masuala ya uchaguzi na wala yeye alikuwa tu katika usimamizi. Ameongeza kwamba hakufahamu chochote kuhusiana na tuhuma alizotoa za wizi wa kura. Onyango Lo alihama chama cha Jubilee na kuj jiunga na chama cha ODM secrets that he claims he has he has he has no secrets whatsoever and we have nothing to hide there are no secrets based on 2013 the president won the election and in fact if he wants to at no cost you know we can give him a fully paid space in the, in the media for him to say whatever he knows he only dealt to the administration he was not in any strategy uh, meetings whatsoever and in any case Our conscience is very clear about 2013 and the role that we played. We sold a campaign um, to this country. Kenyans believed in the manifesto of Jubilee. Kenyans believed in His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy um, William Ruto. And I think soon enough ODM where Onyango Law has gone to will realize that one he has come with nothing. He has come with no secret, no strategy. He has come with no a uh, value whatsoever to them and number two, that then he cannot be trusted because the same thing that he is trying to make up and to do is what he's going to do um to to odium Na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alifanya mkutano na wanahabari katika ikulu ndogo ya Sagana. Uhuru amekuwa katika eneo la kati tangu siku ya Alhamisi alikozindua kampeni yake ya uhamasishaji wa raia kujisajili kama wapiga kura. Uhuru aliyepokea maswali kutoka kwa wanahabari amesema kwamba serikali kuu inashughulikia maswala mbalimbali yakiwemo ukame ambao umekithiri katika pembe mbalimbali za taifa. Kutokana na yaliyojiri nchini Gambia, Rais Uhuru Kenyatta amesema kwamba yeye atatii matakwa 
mambo ya Kenya ifikie hapo Agosti wakati wa uchaguzi mkuu. Na tukiendelea na taarifa kuhusu Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ni kwamba katika siku ya nne ya ziara ya Rais eneo la Kati, Rais Kenyatta alihudhuria misa katika kanisa Katoliki la Our Lady of Consolata Cathedral mjini Nyeri. Aliungana na wafuasi wengine kwa ibada ya misa ya tatu ambayo iliongozwa na askofu mkuu Peter Cairo. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alichukua fursa hiyo kuendeleza ujumbe wake wa kuwataka watu kuendelea kujitokeza na kujiwasilisha ama kujisajilisha kama wapiga kura. Kanisa la Our Lady of Consolata Cathedral ndilo hifadhi ya mtawa Irene Stefani Nyadha aliyetawazwa mwaka mbili na tano. Na mgombeaji wa ugavana wa Nairobi kupitia chama cha Jubilee Peter Kenneth amewarai wagombeaji wote ugavana wa Jubilee kusitisha siasa za chuki na migawanyiko akizungumza katika kanisa la PCA Kayole Kenneth aliyekuwa ameandamana na baadhi ya wanasiasa kutoka kaunti ya Nairobi alionya kwamba kwa, sa, kwa sasa siasa za namna hiyo huenda upinzani ukapata nafasi rahisi ya kukihifadhi kiti hicho kwenye uchaguzi mkuu ujao sisi ambao tumeingia katika timu moja ya kusaidia rais huru na makamu wake mheshimiwa Ruto ni muhimu kama Nairobi tuzungumze kwa lugha moja tuanze kurushiana maneno we are scoring the goal at the opponents we do not want to score own goal hatutaki kuvurugana ndani ya nyumba tujifunge mabao sisi wenyewe tuko pamoja la mwisho na robi inastahili manager ambaye anaelewa na kazi manager ambaye anaelewa na robi na mimi najua mnifikiria mmechagua manager but he was just a manager but not a good manager what you need is a good manager na mimi nasema niko na track ya kufanya ka and i want to work for you nataka kuwafanyia ka kazi tuone ya kwamba we can ease off traffic jam we can clean the city tuache kupitia kwa uchafu tutengeneze drainage zetu tuone that we live in a city that we have lived before Baadhi ya viongozi wa upinzani wamedokeza kwamba watasusia uchaguzi mkuu mwaka huu iwapo tofauti ambazo zimedhihirika katika usajili wa wapiga kura hazitabadilishwa kwa uratibu wa sajili hiyo kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu. Wakiongozwa na seneta wa Siaya James Orengo na mbunge wa GEM Jakoyo Midiwo, viongozi hao walikariri kwamba ripoti ya vitambulisho vya kitaifa kutumika mara mbili na wapiga kura inadidimiza imani ya Wakenya katika uchaguzi wa mwaka mbili na saba that we are not going for elections if the election law and the process leading towards the elections are not accountable are not transparent are not verifiable and are not accurate we will not allow elections with a dirty and unclean voter register never how foolish can we be you cannot be foolish twice na shughuli za kuwarai wa Kenya kujisajili kama wapiga kura zinaendelea katika kaunti mbalimbali huku viongozi wakijipigia debe katika maeneo tofauti tofauti mwanahabari wetu Hussein Mohamed anarifu Kaunti ya West Pokot viongozi wa eneo hili walifika tayari kuwarai pamoja na kueleza wenyeji hapa kuhusu umuhimu wa kujisajili kama wapiga kura wakiongozwa na seneta wa West Pokot John Lunyangapo asiza kuwa hawana budi ili kujisajili Tunataka register ya IEBC iwe cleaned. Register iangaliwe. Hatutaki loophole yote ya kuipa kura. Nataka register. Sasa hivi kuna watu majina yanaonekana mara mbili, watu wanaishia kipande nini nini, hiyo iwe cleared. Na mambo ya 
na jina uenda kando na kando uenda angalia jina lako umesikia hata kuna viongozi wana complain kakaluzo mshoka anasema yake ID yake imetumiwa huko ajiri na yeye ni mtu ya uh, kitui so ni vizuri kuchunguza hiyo na kuangalia kwa hayo yote usimame imara na tuombe Mungu asaidie nchi ya Kenya sio nchi kama nyingine aidha viongozi hao walitumia nafasi hii kujipigia debe ambia wale wote ambao wanasimama eh hapa West Pokot twende pole pole tuombe kura kwa njia heshima na Mungu atawabariki yote Hali sawia ilidhirika kule pwani mgombea wa gavana Suleiman Shabal akiongoza wafuasi wa jubilee katika shughuli ya usajili wa piga kura and that change can only come if the people of Mombasa number one, the register today number two, vote on the 8th and number three, ensure on the 8th that the vote is not stolen so my message to the people of Mombasa you must come out in large numbers This is the chance to exercise your democratic right and to exercise your democratic responsibility to register as a voter and to make change in the city of Mombasa. Shughuli ya usajili wa piga kura inaendelea katika maeneo tofauti humu nchini. Usani Mohamed, KTN News. Na mtazamaji mgombeaji wa wakilishi wa Kinamama katika kaunti ya Wasingishu Gladys Boss Sholei ametoa wito kwa watumizi wa bodaboda kutotumiwa vibaya na wanasiasa katika kuendeleza ajenda yao. Akizungumza katika eneo la Kapsoya ambapo alikuwa anazindua rasmi mradi wa kuwasaidia vijana kuwekeza maishani hususan kupitia pikipiki, Bishole amesema kwamba ipo haja ya vijana kujituma na kutathmini njia mbadala ya kujitafutia pato. Kama unavaa reflector ya politician wewe ni billboard. Lazima walipe walipe Yes, wasikie vizuri. Nimewaeleza mara mingi. You are a billboard. Kama mko na sako you can negotiate fees of how much you should be paid so that you can wear the the the, the reflector bearing someone's name including myself for the week so they should be business people because no billboard and no space even in the newspapers comes for free na hofu imekigubika kijiji cha Kabanga eneo la Makuyu katika kaunti ya Muranga kufuatia mawaji ya walinzi wawili usiku kwa mkia leo. Walinzi hao walikuwa wameshika doria kwenye eneo moja la ujenzi walipovamiwa na genge la watu ambao baada ya kuwakatakata na kuwaua walipora mali vikiwemo vifaa vya ujenzi. <laughs> walinzi hao walikuwa kipiga doria katika eneo hili la ujenzi lililoko kwenye barabara ya Kenol kwenda Makuyu. Walipovamiwa na genge la watu mwendo wa saa wa usiku kwa mke leo na kwa katakata kwa panga na vifaa vingine buto. Ndio tukasikia nje kuna watu wana ladaranda tukadhania pengine ni hawa masoja wanatuamulisha. Kwa muka kuangalia nje tukakuta tumemlikwa na matochi. Baada hapo ndio akaona watu wa jarara akamulisha tufungue. Sasa kufungua ndio akaingia na chuma tukatuamulisha tuf lale na tuangalia mikono yaangalia na nyuma akatufunga na kamba alafu akatasegenge akatufunga nazo mpaka mugu wakazi weneo ile kiongozi na mbunge wa Maragwa Peter Kamande wamesema uvamizi na unyang'anyi vimekuwa vikishuhudiwa siku za hivi majuzi hivyo kuatia wakazi na uwekezaji kwewe sasa kuna wote wameuliwa hapa na amewacha watoto na bibi yake aliaga akisa sasa hiyo ni shida sasa tugeomba serikali tuogeze urizi sababu ni kubaya sana hapa mwazi jana mzee mmoja baji kwa jina mgoro aliwawa leo kumewao watu wengine wawili kwa hiyo tuna urizi security area hii iongeze nguvu tujue nini inaendelea kufanyika shadla committee kitchen news na mtazamaji tupate mapumziko mafupi na kisha nitarejea na taarifa zaidi usiende mbali <tune>